बाहर असल में हल्ला हो रहा था गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग प्लीज टेक योर सीट थैंक यू सर देवांश यस सर मोहन द्वेदी यस सर थ्री कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द नेम यस सर कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल थ्री यस सर सर देवांश मींस अ पार्ट ऑफ गॉड एंड सर मोहन मींस हु इज लाइक्ड बाय एवरीवन सर दिस नेम कम्स फ्रॉम माय फादर एंड देन सर द्वेदी मींस द नोवर मींस सर मोहन मींस हु हु इज लाइक्ड बाय ऑल हु कैन मेक पीपल मोहित and sir divedi comes uh, means the knower of uh, two vedas uh, another meaning to divedi that can be attached is that a person who has wisdom to differentiate between two streams of thought okay yes sir and you come from prayagraj district yes sir i hail from prayagraj of uttar pradesh yes huh? sir prayagraj name has been changed so do you agree that uh, this should have been changed or not sir i believe sir uh, the, the decision to change the name of prayagraj in this particular case was good sir but sir if we go on changing uh, if we go on a spree of changing the names across the country uh, without any historical or archaeological evidence sir then it is wrong okay why prayagraj is called prayagraj sir there is a mythological story behind mm-hmm. this sir so the word prayagraj is a sandhi of two words pra and yag it is believed that lord brahma so did the first yag pra comes from the word pratham and yag comes from yagya so th- uh, that is why it was called as prayag and raj sir so raj because it is the king of all the prayags sir because of the presence of sangam so it is prayagraj okay so and wh- what is other significance of uh, allahabad there are number of things that you can count Yes, can sir. you count some of them yes sir so the first important significance is that the indian standard time passes through prayagraj specifically from the place which i come that is naini sir secondly sir it is the judicial capital of uh, uttar pradesh and thirdly sir there uh, historically sir it it has been the capital of the country for a day in 1858 sir so these i can remember as of now okay ganga yamuna saraswati yes sir so that is the cultural significance the presence of sangam and the kumbh mela over there sir okay if if you are uh, secretary tourism to government of uttar pradesh yes sir what steps would you like to suggest to them for tourism development of uh, uttar pradesh so can i mo- take a moment to think sir ha huh? sure so so the first step would be sir uh, the popularization of the places uh, they should be well popularized in the country as well as across the world sir secondly sir for tourism development sir we need trained tourist guides there is a lack of trained tourist guides in places like allahabad sir what i have observed sir thirdly sir the policy can be sir we can uh, rope in college students who can work as part time guides sir okay and uh, you have uh, obtained your uh, subjects as political science and international yes, relations my option was political science and international relations sir have you were have you heard the word huthi sir sorry sir huthi h o u t h i e uh, huthis yes sir i have heard it wo, wo, what is that sir it is a militant organization that operates primarily in the yemen sir Yemen yes sir and why is it uh, off late in news sir it is in uh, off late it is in news because uh, it is doing dr- drone attacks on the shipping vessels which are passing through that particular region sir which particular region sir the red sea region sir red sea region yes sir okay red sea region uh, further leads to so i said sorry sir i did not get your question red sea sir what is uh, ahead of uh, red sea so the middle east so or the west asia so does it serve that region only the middle sea ships as you were saying no sir do they stop there or do sir, they, they go, go somewhere else also sir, so they go beyond it also via the swiss canal sir okay good have you heard hamas also yes sir what is that sir it is a uh, a designated terrorist organization that is operating uh, presently in the regions which are occupied by it 
which is currently under Palestine, sir. So it is embroiled in a war with Israel as of now, sir. What is the India's stand in uh, Arab-Israel war or Palestine-Israel war or yes, Hamas-Israel war, yes, to be more precise? Yes, sir. Sir, India has taken a very nuanced stand, sir. Sir, it has followed its policy of dehyphenation. Firstly, sir, uh, uh, the, the day the attacks took place, our Honorable Prime Minister, he tweeted in support of Israel. Uh, we have, uh, sir, uh, gone by our traditional position of the two-state solution. However, sir, we have also provided humanitarian aid to the Palestine, uh, Palestinian sufferers also, sir. What has been India's stand regarding Palestine? Sir, India's stand has been that uh, the two-state solution should be the way forward, sir. As of now. Okay. And and uh, in case of uh, Houthis, yes, sir. What is the steps that government of uh, India has taken? Have 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 we taken some some stand or not, or have we taken some action or not? Sir, I'm not aware of, about the exact actions that we have taken, sir. But uh, Indian Navy deployments have been increased in that particular region, sir. And what other countries? Which other countries have <clears throat> been uh, taking uh, steps to uh, curb the? Uh, uh, the the uh, problem being created by Houthis? Sir, to the best of my knowledge, sir, US has deployed its uh, aircraft carriers there, sir. Are there other countries also that are involved with that? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not exactly aware of which countries are... Uh, okay. Yeah, Mr. Devan. Sir. From which area would you like me to ask the question, subject you have studied, your optional... Yes, sir. Your state or current affairs or combination of all? Whatever you want. So, you can ask, sir. I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge, sir. Okay, great. So, related with electronics and communication. Yes, sir. What is the difference between artificial intelligence and generative artificial intelligence? Generative artificial intelligence is also artificial yes, intelligence. Sir. No, now, you tell me what exactly that differ related yes, with normal artificial intelligence. Sir, to my mind, sir, what I make out of the both the concepts is, sir, that artificial intelligence is a basic concept and generative artificial intelligence is a more advanced version of uh, this artificial intelligence. So what is more advanced related with that? Yes, sir. Yeah. sir I am coming on that. Mm -hmm. So, generative artificial intelligence is that it uses uh, technologies like large language language models to generate uh, thoughts of its own, sir. For example, the chat GPT which is in use, it is an example of generative artificial intelligence. Okay. So, th there is a lot of, uh, um, I mean, excitement and lots of worries Sir. too related Sir. with artificial intelligence as yes. a whole yes. and generative artificial intelligence in particular. Yes. Now let's talk about these excitements related with generative artificial intelligence yes, and the lots of worries too. Yes. Sir. So yes. the ex excitement or the positive parts of generative artificial intelligence are on a few fronts that I can think of is sir. That uh, first is when it is coupled with the power of generation of images and videos, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, it can be used uh, for uh, uh, for in the educational sector, sir. If we see, it can be used to uh, make the historical characters alive again. For mm -hmm. example, sir, we recently saw the video of Martin Luther King speaking again. Secondly, sir, uh, what I can think of uh, generative artificial intelligence, sir, it can be used to write uh, novels, scripts. Uh, in the uh, domain of art, sir. So, particularly in the entertainment industry, uh, sir, it, can, uh, it is useful. For example, suddenly an actor dies, sir. Now, we have to complete that particular movie. So, generative artificial intelligence has helped or it, it, okay, it is a... Okay, so lot of excitement related yes, with these, whatever you have mentioned. Yes, now, sir. lots of worries too. Yes, sir. So, which are those? Sir, the major challenge is that... In brief, huh? Yes, sir. The hmm. challenge of deep fake, which we have seen, sir. Deep recently. fake, yeah, yes, number one. What else? Sir, secondly is the use by the criminal organizations for obtaining ransom, etc. This has also been in the news, sir. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, sir, generative artificial intelligence will have a negative impact on the employment also, sir. Okay, what about hallucination, cyber security and copyright issue? Yes, sir. That that will also be an issue, sir. So these are also some yes, of sir. the worries. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, blockchain technology. Yes, sir. How can that help us? Yes, sir. In yes, sir. Uh, the transparency of administration, bringing about transparency in the administration. Yes, sir. And uh, better delivery system. Yes, sir. Hmm. So, the first point that I can think about the blockchain technology in uh, the usage of blockchain technology in administration is the provision of land records. Sir. 
Mm-hmm. So, sir, the land records are being streamlined in the, under the Swamitra. The no, first scheme. basic thing, how can that help? What is special with that blockchain technology, which will help us in bringing about transparency in the administration and yes, public sir. delivery system? Basic thing. So, the basic thing is that, sir, the amount of security provides and uh, it can be accessible to all, but it cannot be modified by everybody, sir. So, we can say decentralized yes, sir. ledger. Yes, sir. It is can a decentralized ledger, sir. Yes, so, sir. because it is there, that's why. Okay. Uh, related with the, your state, Uttar Pradesh. Yes, sir. So, Uttar Pradesh wants to have yes, sir. 1 trillion US dollar economy. Yes, sir. By which year? <clears throat> sir, I am not sure about Is it yes, going sir. in the right direction to achieve that? And which are the measures which are being <clears throat> taken up by the state government of Uttar Pradesh to yes, achieve sir. that particular target of 1 trillion US dollar economy? Yes, sir. So, yeah. the state is moving uh, in that direction very positively, sir. The uh, steps that I can remember is that, sir, <coughs> the, there have been many numerous uh, investor summit. And, sir, the Honorable Chief Minister himself is leading the summit, sir. Secondly, sir, we are developing, uh, we have schemes like one district, one product, etc. Mm-hmm. Thirdly, sir, we have… In order of priority, if at all you can. Sir? Yeah, you are right, whatever you are saying. Yes, sir. I am saying in order of priority, if at all you can. Yes, sir. So, th- sir, first is the investor summit, sir. Yeah. Second is, sir, that uh, the government is projecting itself as uh, the a state with uh, numerous opportunities, having like, a, sir, uh, sir, uh, like div- demographic dividends, sir. So, thirdly, sir, law and order is also being promoted as one of the important uh, aspects for promoting investments in the state, sir. Okay, what else? So, as is of doing now, business, where does it stand in India? At, at which position? Sir, of doing business? Sir, I can't recall the exact position, sir. Okay, what about uh, single portal system? Sir, single, single window system? Yes, single s- of doing business? Yes, sir. So what sing- is its name? Sir, in UP? Yeah. Sir, I'm not sure yes. about it, sir. Single window. Hmm? Okay. Yes, sir. No problem. So, related with Prayag Raj. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. When the name was changed? Yes, sir. From Prayagraj to Allahabad. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, it was done in 2018, sir. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Listen, sir. my question. Yes, when sir. earlier it was Prayagraj only. Yes, sir. Earlier means long back. Yes, so sir. So when was that name was changed from Prayagraj to Allahabad? Sir, it was done during the reign of Akbar, sir. Okay. He tended. He changed it from Prayagraj to Allahabad for first. And Allahabad then, sir, means? Sir, the abode of Allah or the abode of God, sir. Okay. Have you ever seen that Triveni in Allahabad? Yes, sir. I have seen it, sir. Uh, what is this Saraswati Coop? Sir, Saraswati Coop is a well, sir, uh, which which mm-hmm. is which believe that the Saraswati River originates from there, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Maldives. Hmm? Yes, sir. So, what is the political political scenario is uh, prevailing there at present? Compare it with the political scenario in the uh, say about within uh, five, or six months or two or three months. Yes, sir. And uh, how it is going to impact our country? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the political scenario currently in Maldives after the recent elections that have <clears throat> been held, sir. So, the new government which has come in, it has taken, sir, a quasi anti-India stand, which we can call it. So, there is an India out campaign that is being run there and sir, they are asking the Indians to withdraw their troops which are present there, sir. Five, six months back, sir, we had a kind of a pro-India government, sir. Mm-hmm. So, sir, the relations were good. So, the imp- regarding the impacts that it would have, sir, sir, Maldives is a very important country because it lies on the sea lanes of communications for us, sir. Secondly, sir, vis-a-vis China also, uh, the strategic depth that we want in the region, sir. So, President of Maldives is going to visit India first or China first? Sir, I am not sure about it, sir. Okay, good enough. Now, uh, related with the that uh, abrogation of Article 370 of the Constitution. Sir. Huh? So, uh, as you know, it is upheld by the Honorable Supreme Court. Yes, sir. So, which part of praise order was struck down? by Honorable Supreme Court related with this Article 370. Sir, I will have to read more on this, sir, the particular part, sir. If I give, give a, you a clue, this is CO272. What is the CO272? Not Constitutional sure, Order 272? Not sure, sir. Okay, no problem. So, can you tell me the bills which were passed by both the Houses of the Parliament yes, sir. in the last session? 
yes. last session, which one? Winter session. Yes, sir. Winter session of the parliament. Yes, sir. And they have got precedents SN2. So, which are those bills? Sir, I'll have to look into it, sir. Hmm? So, the final, finally, which I have got. Okay. Are we going to have budget session this year? Sir, we'll have an interim budget this year. Interim sir. budget. Yes, so, sir. how does that interim budget differ with the full budget? You are right. Yes, we, sir. Uh, this budget, interim budget is going to be presented in the parliament. Yes, sir. So, now you tell me. How does that differ with the full budget? Sir, regarding the specific point, sir, uh, sir, I'm, I'll have to look into it, sir. But, sir, uh, the, there is a, the difference between the interim budget and the regular budget is that, sir, sir, interim budget is a limited budget, not Obviously. a full-scale budget, sir, mm -hmm. which will be uh, given up, sir. Okay, last question related with badminton, your hobby. Yes, sir. Uh, so, whom you are very proud of? Who is your hero in badminton? Sir, your, in your role model, like I should say. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, in India, in single, sir, it is P.V. Sindhu. And, sir... Uh, uh, Why P.V. Sindhu? P.V. Sindhu, uh, sir, because of her the court presence, sir, sir the uh, aggression in her game, sir. Has she got uh, um, Olympic Games medal? Yes, sir. She has won bronze, sir. Uh, this was her first medal in the Olympic Games or second? Sir, this was not her first medal, sir. Sir, if I am not wrong, sir, she has won three medals, sir. I think two only. You can check it. Yes, sir. Only I will. Two. I will so, check. there is only one woman who has won... More, more than one time so medal in olympic games so now is there any man also who are not in the badminton but so, in any other field who has uh, won gold medal twice sir i'm not sure about winning it twice sir but i think sir it is neera chopra sir mm -hmm. anyway thank you so <coughs> you mentioned uh, divansh uh, divansh sir, divansh divansh uh, you mentioned you know, Duvedi means two, uh, <coughs> knowledge of two Vedas. Sir. Which two Vedas? Sir, it can be any of the two Vedas, sir. Any of the two sir, Vedas. Sir, there are four Vedas. Okay, okay. So can you name all the four Vedas? Yes, sir. Sir, it is the Rig Ved, the Yajur Ved, the Sam Ved and the Athar Ved, sir. What does Athar Ved do? What has the Athar Ved in it? Sir, if I am not wrong, sir, Athar Ved is the book of miracles, sir. Sir, it has the hymns related to the miracles. To miracles. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you are fond of cooking uh, North Indian food. Sir. What is your favorite dish? Sir, uh, currently, sir, uh, my favorite dish is a millet-based dish. It is called Kodo, sir. So, it is a Kodo millet khichdi, sir. Millet? Yes, sir. Are you, have you uh, adopted millet because this is the in thing these days? Sir, it is, it can be one of the reasons, sir, but it has been traditionally cooked in my house, sir, from very long. Okay. Yes, sir. And any other dish? Sir, so you're Ramba. talking only about uh, UP dishes or North India means, you know, it can be from uh, Kashmir also. Sir, it can be from Kashmir, sir. But uh, there is a small story behind this, sir. Hmm. Sir, I took up cooking because when I came to Delhi, sir, good food was not available. So, hmm. I took it uh, out of compulsion. But when I started doing it, sir, I fell in love with it. So, I'm exploring, sir, dishes of the outs uh, this outside North India also, Kashmiri dishes also. But, sir, as of now, uh, I am good at cooking the dishes of UP, sir. Okay, good. Uh, <clears throat> you were the media promotion head in annual festivals in college. Yes, sir. Uh, now, if suppose you are the head of the district. Yes, sir. And there are certain good government schemes. Yes, you sir. You have mentioned quite a lot. Yes, sir. So, if how do you make sure that D is the schemes? Uh, the people are made aware of all these schemes. Yes, sir. What will you do in a district? Yes, sir. Sir, there are multiple means for this, sir. So, the first uh, medium that uh, reaches, if it is a remote district, sir, sir, then radio is a very popular and a very effective means of delivering this, sir. Mm -hmm. Secondly, sir, we can uh, have uh, youth groups in the villages, etc., who can promote the government schemes, sir. Thirdly, sir, we can rope in the village panchayats uh, who can spread awareness about these schemes, sir. So, how do you do it? It is fine. These are the structures. Yes, sir. But how will you go about it? You have village, uh, the panchayats also. You have youth groups also. Yes, sir. You have a radio also. Yes, sir. Now, how do you actually do it? See, now, when you become a civil servant, yes, when you become a uh, bureaucrat, yes, sir. you will have to talk about brass tags. You can't be so general about yes, things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
So how will you actually go about? So for example, if you know something like Ujjwala yes, Yojana sir. or uh, maybe cleanliness, yes, the sanitation sir. program yes, sir. is there. Or maybe you know safe driving yes, sir. because a lot of people, a lot of villagers, they are killed on the roads yes, sir. because of you know they don't have the uh, knowledge of road safety and all that. Yes, sir. Suppose you want to do that, yes, how sir. will you go about doing it? So the first thing is that sir, we have government schools in villages, sir. Hmm. So there can be wall writings and wall paintings on those government schools, sir. Okay. Secondary, uh, secondly, sir, we can have mobile vans, hmm. sir. Disp with uh, displays, they can go from village to village or from city to city or from mohalla to mohalla. Hmm. There they can, sir, uh, this uh, do this. So thirdly, roping in youth from colleges, sir. We can take pick up volunteers from the colleges, train them about the schemes and how what 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 are the benefits of these schemes, and then, sir, they will go on to spread the awareness, sir. So fourth, I believe, sir, there can be NGOs. We can train the NGOs in a similar fashion, tell them about the schemes and ask them to spread awareness about the schemes. And sir, regarding the village panchayat thing, sir, so we can call a meeting of uh, the, the village sarpanches, mm -hmm. tell them about the schemes and uh, ask them to spread awareness in their villages. Sir. So do you think this is one area which is lacking in our programs? So we are working on this, sir. Uh, awareness is being spread, sir. I have personally seen uh, wall writings on the villages, etc., sir. Mm. And this was specifically uh, useful in uh, the Swachh Bharat mission, sir. Mm. We are moving on it, sir, but we need many more steps, sir. Definitely. Now, one, uh, you know, holding on, one holding or one uh, writing on the wall, yes, which sir. you see, stop malaria. Yes, sir. Now, if someone in a rickshaw puller is told, stop malaria. Yes, sir or stop dengue, what will he know? What will he make out of it? Sir, that is a challenge, sir. Uh, sir, we need detailed advertisements for that, sir. Or, sir, uh, we, we can use audio vis visual medium, sir. As I told, sir. No, even, if, for example, audio, this is also a medium. Yes, sir. Wall. Yes, sir. Now, you just write, you know, you hire a advertising, advertising agency and they'll just say, stop malaria. Yes, sir. Now, this is not going to do. Yes, sir. So, basically, we have to look at the specifics Agreed, as a sir. civil servant. Agreed, sir. You know, you have to be a look at the specifics, how it is being done rather than, you know, just allotting money and, you know, hiring an advertising agency. Yes, sir. Without really seeing at the output. Yes, this sir. is what uh, the emphasis should be. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned about large language models yes, and generative uh, yes, AI and all that. Uh, Chat GPT is now amongst us. Yes, sir. It may have helped you in, in prepare, preparing for your civil services yes, also. Will it aid education or will it harm education? School sir. education I am talking about. Yes, sir. So, there are two ways of seeing it, sir. Hmm. Sir, I told to sir also, sir, that we can uh, create live lessons for students, sir. Hmm. Historical characters can could be brought to life. Hmm. And sir, uh, many... Uh, this audio visual medium can be improved, sir. Right. So, in that way, sir, it is going to aid education, sir. But on the other hand, sir, if we overuse it, overdo chat GPT, etc., sir, then students could use it for doing their homeworks, not thinking, etc. So, that way it can ha hamper their cognitive development also, sir. So, you feel that the the homeworks that they get, yes, sir. does it promote thinking? The present homework, not the chat GPT ones. Yes, sir. Do you think our education system, yes, sir. does it really encourage thinking, creative thinking among the students? <clears throat> sir, there is a lacuna, sir. But the new education policy that has come up, sir, sir, it, it has brought certain pointers, sir, that education needs to be uh, based on thinking, not just rote learning, sir. Hmm. So, we are moving forward in that direction, sir. So, don't you think for all these, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, the the manual work which takes place, yes, sir. you know, that can be taken care by chat GPT and then people can think yes, in that uh, time. Don't you think will help? For example, if suppose he's writing a, an essay, yes, sir. you know, he can write out an essay and then he can just see whether these things it's as per his thinking or not. Maybe he'll be able to think much more from what the baseline is. Don't you think so? Sir, it is. Sir, sir but it is a slippery slope, sir. Sir, we need, to, we need to set the limits, sir, hmm. because, sir, uh, it can be an aid, but it cannot be a replacement for the human <coughs> intellect, sir. Okay. And it Does the UP have a uh, democratic dividend you were talking about? Yes, Does sir. it have it? Sir, I was talking about, I'm sorry, sir, I was talking about demographic dividend, sir. I'm talking, I'm <coughs> also asking about demographic, uh, demographic dividend. Yes, sir. Does UP have it? Sir, it has. It does has. It has. Yes, sir. How do you say that? 
sir we have a large population of about 25 crore people sir right and see sir we are working towards uh, ensuring ed, uh, quality education health and skilling for those people sir yeah sir uh, presently the government is organizing job fairs rozgar mela and sir skilling is one area where the government is focusing to realize this demographic dividend sir hmm. so so you think we'll be able to achieve that dividend sir i'm optimistic about it sir uh, with the kind of inequality in uh, income and all that Yes, and the poverty, huge poverty, yes, and illiteracy, which is still there. Illiteracy, yes, you know, the real uh, literacy is lacking. Yes, sir. So, do you think? Uh, don't you think it's a big challenge for us, sir? It is a challenge, especially sir. for North India, including UP. Yes, sir. Sir, it is a challenge, sir. But I believe, sir, the merit of all things lies in their difficulty, sir. So, we are moving forward in that direction, sir. And I'm optimistic, sir. We'll be doing that, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Devans, you have worked in the cancer society. So, how will you define cancer? Sir, cancer is the growth of malignant cells. Cells, sir. So, there is a natural process called metastasis. So, when a cell is produced in the body, when it comes in contact with another cell, the cell growth stops. But, sir, uh, in the event of cancer, sir, this metastasis is uh, uh, hampered, and sir, there is a uncontrolled growth of cells. Sir. Uncontrolled growth. Yes, sir. So, what are the various factors which basically produces cancer? So, there can be multiple factors, sir. As of now, sir, uh, there, there, the oral and oesophageal cancers are caused by use of tobacco products, sir. Secondly, use of alcohol, overuse of alcohol, rather, sir, is promoting cancers. Sir. Thirdly, uh, coming in contact with ionizing radiations, sir, it can also mm -hmm. cause cancers, sir. Sir, then environmental pollution, and sir, the recent research has shown that sedentary lifestyle is also promoting cancers. Mm -hmm. Was it this uh, acidic and uh, alkaline pH level? What is the difference between these two? Sir, acidic. Yes, sir. And alkaline, say this, this is acidic and this is alkaline. What is the difference in the pH level? Yes, sir. Sir, when we see it on a pH scale, sir, the pH of 7 is considered as neutral and the pH below this is acidic and above that is basic, sir. So, does it also contribute for can cancer? Sir, according to Ayurveda, sir, as per the best of my, my knowledge, sir, when we have a lot of acidity in the body, it causes various kinds of ulcers, sir, produce production of pith, which is called, sir. Mm. So, that is also causing cancer. Mm. Millets, now it has become a year of millets and so, what sir. is the importance of millets? So, there are numerous importance, sir. Mm. So, the first importance is that, sir, they are a rich source of micronutrients like phosphorus, calcium, etc. So, they can be, uh, they are useful in combating the hidden hunger, the micronutrient deficiency, sir. Secondly, sir, they have low glycemic index. So, they can be also contributing towards the fighting uh, the non-communicable diseases like uh, diabetes, etc. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, sir, they have a low carbon and water footprint. So, they are hardy crops, easier to grow. Mm -hmm. So, new education policy. Yes, sir. So, what are the drawbacks of new education policy? Everybody is talking about that this is very good policy and all these things, so many factors. But I don't find any change in this because I have worked in the education department. So, so what are the drawbacks? Sir, presently, sir, I can, can't think of many drawbacks. Sir. I say it is a bad policy. How will you say it is a good policy? Sir, it is a good policy, sir, because it is an improvement over the previous policy, sir. Unlike the 10 plus 2 format which we are fo uh, following, uh, we have broken it down into 5 plus 3 plus 3 4 plus 4 policy, sir. Secondly, sir, there is a stress on vocational education which was missing, which, which is in demand, uh, which is in line with the demand of the present uh, s s scenario, sir. Thirdly, sir, uh, it gives in the higher education sector, sir, it gives uh, the freedom to students to choose the various disciplines that they want, sir. So, sir, it is more market and industry aligned and demands of the present world, sir. In old days, it was basically 11 plus 3. Yes, sir. So, they have come back again to the level of 74, 1974. Yes, sir. This new education policy 10 plus 2 came into 1975, 76. Yes, sir. So, again, they have come back to the same old policy. Sir, I did it not... was 11th, then 3 years graduation, then 2 years post graduation. Yes, sir. So, old wine in a new bottle, what is new in it? Vocational education means we have so many engineering, engineering colleges, but employability is only 18%. Yes, sir. So, what is new? 
सर वोकेशनल एजुकेशन सर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग अंडर दिस वी आर ट्राइंग टू प्रोवाइड अंडर दिस न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी फ्रॉम द स्कूल लेवल इट सेल्फ सर सो इफ समबडी वांट्स टू ड्रॉप आउट फ्रॉम द स्कूल सर दे विल नॉट बी विदाउट एनी जॉब दे विल हैव स्किल्स टू स्टार्ट देयर ओन बिजनेस बट अर्लियर वी वर हैविंग द आईटीआईज यस सर इन ऑल पॉलिसी वी वर हैविंग द आईटीआईज यस सर सो व्हाट द आईटीआईज हैव प्रोड्यूस्ड इट वाज अ टोटली वोकेशनल थिंग यस सर सर आई टी आईज सर दे हैव स्किल्ड दे हैव प्रोड्यूस दे हैव स्किल्ड इन ट्रेड लाइक ट्रेडर फिटर इलेक्ट्रीशियंस एक्सेट्रा सर सो सर दे वर यूजफुल सर दे वर यूजफुल यस सर सो वी हैव इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यस सर सो हाउ विल यू से हाउ इट हैज इवोल्व फ्रॉम वेयर इट हैज बेसिकली इफ यू से मॉडर्न इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यस सर सो इट हैज कम अप फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश सो हाउ दी फ्रॉम द वेरियस एक्ट इट हैज कम अप Sir, it has evolved because of various factors and in numerous ways also, sir. So the it is a living document, sir. So the various amendments and the various Supreme Court judgments, sir, they have led to the evolution. For example, sir, the right to privacy it was not there in the original Constitution, but sir, it was uh, recognized by the Supreme Court as a part of Article Twenty One, sir. And sir, the various amendments like the Forty Second Amendment have brought in various keywords like the socialist, secular, etc. So that is also a form of evolution. What about Nineteen Thirty Five Act? The Government of India Act, 1935. Government of India Act, 1935. What yes, was sir. that act? Sir, it formed the basis of the modern-day constitution. Sir, uh, regarding the exact provisions of that, sir, sir, it created an All India Federation. Secondly, sir, it created institutions like the uh, pub, uh, Public Service Commission, sir, and sir, RBI was also created under that that act, sir. If I'm not wrong. Suppose you are given a task for uh, reforming or say amendment in the Indian constitutions. Yes, sir. What part you would like to have for that? What part you will would like to have delete from the Indian Constitution? So there is no specific part as a whole that can be deleted, sir. There are there are some nitty gritties or small amendments that can be made, sir. For example, sir, in the seventh schedule, there are many outdated uh, things that can be removed. Newer things can be added. For example, terrorism, etc., can be added in one of the schedules, sir. So this, sir, that comes to my mind, sir. I would like to. But why it is it so voluminous, sir? It is voluminous because, sir, it represents the diversity of the country. One. Secondly, sir, there is also a contention, sir, since the Constitution Assembly was dominated by lawyers, sir. So that is why it was one of the reasons. Thirdly, sir, uh, as a new and nascent nation, sir, we want we needed to define everything in that particular Constitution to avoid a lot of legal struggles, sir. So to my mind, sir, these are the three reasons why it is very voluminous. Mm -hmm. so uh, nowadays we are having a basically governor versus chief ministers particularly in those yes, states where there is a opposition government yes sir so is there any need of these governors sir i think yes sir why sir because sir governors sir for example if there is a constitutional crisis in a state there has to be a precedent rule sir then we have to have thirdly sir uh, secondly sir uh, what i feel is that sir governors are needed particularly in states where in step in times of instability sir they can act as factors of stability we need to reform that institution sir but abolishing it as of now sir is not a prudent step same thing is in certain states we are having the vidhan parishad vidhan sabha yes sir and say and in certain state we don't have yes sir so why can't we abolish all those things in those states where it is having the vidhan parishad because it is an additional burden on the state budget sir uh, sir I, with your permission sir i have a different uh, view of seeing it sir so where the vidhan parishads are present though they are considered as dilatory chambers sir but sir uh, they, they bring in experts the, the, the nominated members are uh, brought in as experts sir one thing secondly sir they uh, are useful in the format of extended legislative scrutiny so sir that is why they are important sir we can continue with that and the constitution leaves it on the wisdom of the parliament whether to create it or not sir recently we have this g20 summit yes sir hmm? yes sir what was the basically uh, motto or the slogan for that g20 yes, sir. sir it was vasudhaiv kutumbakam one earth one family one future sir one future during this time during this russia ukraine war yes sir there was a feeling that we are drifting from away from the russia and now we are having this feeling that we are drifting away from the usa sir so what is your opinion about it 
सर आई बिलीव सर इंडिया हैज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज फॉलोड अ पॉलिसी ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक ऑटोनॉमी सर सर वी आर नॉट अ कैम फॉलोअर सर सर वी हैव परसूड अ पॉलिसी ऑफ इशू बेस्ड अलाइनमेंट सर सो वेयर द इशूज लाए सर वेयर आर नेशनल इंटरेस्ट आर सर बेटर सर सो वी टेक डिसीजन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सर these all india services were considered as the steel framework for the india so but now we see that it is crumbling down or it is still the steel framework of in, for india sir i believe sir it is still the steel framework of the country sir uh, it has contributed a lot to the development of this great nation sir and it continues doing so sir what is terrorism and how it has been defined in the recent act sir i am not sure about the definition in the recent act sir sir but the general definition of terrorism is the use of violence uh, for gaining political ends this ipc crpc and evidence act have they been modified or yes sir they have been modified sir hmm. so terrorism has been defined in, the, in those acts so terrorism has been brought in sir it has been defined sir defined oh, yes sir okay thank you thanks uh, devansh sir which attempt is uh, this one So this is the third attempt, sir. Third attempt. Yes, sir. And first qualification for uh, interview or first, second? First interview, sir. All the best. We will call you in a minute. Thank you, sir. Just wait. Now, please come. Devansh, sir. Ah, uh, you are performing according to us very well, sir. And we feel that you should make it this time, sir. there are few suggestions so one that uh, aap bataiye sabse pehli baat to let the question be completed fast sometimes what happens that you complete the question remaining part of mm-hmm. it wait for some time and okay. then respond to the question yes sir number 2 whenever you don't know answer of any question it is not always right to attempt a particular question you can yes, always sir. say that you don't know yes sir. rather than giving wrong answer because yes, here marks will be deducted much more as compared to prelims yes prelims one third is deducted main zero mark it is given nothing is deducted but yes, here sir. many times more yes sir third thing there is no need to say like this as i have already told sir yes sir. you repeat that huh you yes, should sir. repeat that particular uh, i mean point again but okay. don't say like that as i have already told sir yes sir okay yes sir otherwise you are a very good candidate and yes, uh, when is your interview by yes, the way 19th of january sir 19th of january yes, so approximately 15 days yes sir huh? okay so related with your def identify the probable questions and yes, related with current affairs and prepare them very well today also you are very well prepared yes sir but there is not a, you don't yes, have to be so politically correct yes sir they are to sound phony you know okay ki banavti hai uh-huh. it should not be like this yes, so you should be fine correct balance but you should have both uh, if, for example suppose i would have you know asked a question like yes sir ki what give me two arguments for scrapping the constitution of india and having a new constitution yes sir okay yes sir now you say no no it's we, i don't want it to scrap we can't say that yes sir you know you have to give balanced answer yes sir okay these are some of the things which are against the thing yes, but you know i feel that should be like this okay yes, so you should be more balanced rather than you know you say you be become very very categorical about a thing yes sir that this is you know uh, uh, up is doing so well and it will do very well and this and there's absolutely no problems etc fine yes sir but you don't have to be so uh, politically correct always yes sir but <clears throat> sir that's But otherwise you are good. very good yes sir we are sure that you will make it this ah, time definitely. sir definitely you, you are going to make it thank you sir sir any other specific sir may both acha you can think on the feet it's okay conversation is okay body language is okay yes sir thoda sa pause leke bolna hai na immediately start nahi karna hai aur complete to bilkul nahi karna hai sentence उस सेंटेंस को कंप्लीट होने दीजिए व्हाट एवर क्वेश्चन इज बीइंग आस्क्ड सर आई टू रियलाइज सर एक्चुअली दिस इज माय फर्स्ट मॉक सर सो कोई बात नहीं वेरी गुड कैंडिडेट वेरी गुड यस सर नो प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू